House File 349 adds e-cigarettes to Minnesota's clean indoor air protections. I want to start off by thanking um, the members on both sides of the aisle who have signed on to this bill and indicated their support for this bill. It always feels good to work in a bipartisan way, but particularly when we're talking about our kids' health. In, in, excuse me, in 2007, uh, when Freedom to Breathe passed this uh, legislature, e-cigarettes really weren't part of the equation. We didn't really know what they were. Um, but now we know. We know to a startling degree about e-cigarette use in Minnesota. In fact, one in five Minnesota high school students are users of e-cigarettes. And these are kids who were not users of other tobacco products before. This is a new nicotine delivery system for our kids. That's the reality. And it's having an impact on youth smoking rates and smoking rates in the state of Minnesota. We're losing ground for the first time in over 17 years of great work by Minnesotans in helping to keep smoking rates low in the state of Minnesota. Now youth tobacco use is on the rise, and e-cigarettes are a direct cause. E-cigarettes are not a safe alternative to smoking. E-cigarette vapors contain dangerous chemicals like formaldehyde, heavy metals, and other cancer-causing agents. E-cigarettes contain nicotine. Nicotine is a harmful chemical. It causes uh, hardening of the arteries. It causes uh, brain development issues in young people. And it creates pathways for addiction in the brain. It has an immense impact on the brain. And these chemicals being used indoors uh, are undermining our clean indoor air protections in Minnesota. E-cigarettes are also not a quit smoking tool. In fact, uh, the companies that make these products, um, and, and uh, large tobacco companies typically own e-cigarette products, um, sued the FDA to make sure they weren't commit considered to be a uh, quit smoking tool. Um, so that right there tells you that they're not. Uh, we have many quit smoking tools available that are FDA approved and proven to work. In addition, in Minnesota, we have um, our quit line and free counseling that's available to Minnesotans to quit smoking. Those are the policies that we put in place to make sure that Minnesotans had the access to uh, quitting smoking that, and support for quitting smoking that they needed. And e-cigarettes are not a quit smoking tool. They are a nicotine delivery device. E-cigarettes are also ushering in an epidemic of youth smoking. For the first time in the years, as I mentioned, youth smoking rates are on the rise. 50% They've, it's risen 50% since 2014. 50%. That is a startling increase over the years where we just um, nipped away at smoking rates by 1%, 2%, and that was a huge victory. And e-cigarette use went up 50% in the course of just five years. That is a startling, startling statistic. The people of Minnesota expect clean indoor air, and they've enjoyed clean indoor air in Minnesota. In fact, it's one of the most popular policies that we have passed in Minnesota. Congratulations, Minnesota legislature. In December, a Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Minnesota poll found that over 80% of Minnesotans support adding e-cigarettes to our clean indoor air laws. And it's not just um, the people of Minnesota that are out there supporting this. Over 50 communities have taken on this issue on their own and added clean indoor air to their uh, clean indoor air restrictions, have added e-cigarettes to their clean indoor air policies. And so communities around the state more and more are being covered by this policy. And so organizations like the League of Minnesota Cities and our local governments are saying, this needs to be a statewide policy. It's time for the state to take this on. And so we are, are working um, for a, a statewide law. In addition, we've got health organizations that are supporting us, such as the American Cancer Society, the American Heart Association, the American Lung Association. Talk to doctors, talk to nurses. Um, this is an important health policy for the state of Minnesota.
In addition, the Building Owners and Managers Association, those folks who um, operate our shopping malls around the state, also support this policy. I think it's important to note that. In short, members, this policy is important for the health of Minnesotans. And it's time for us, as lawmakers, to bring clean indoor air across the board to all communities in Minnesota and let Minnesotans enjoy the clean air that they expect in our state. Thank you, Madam Speaker and members.